I just want to make sure that the icing is perfect so the canvas on which to paint. It's a sheet cake. Sheet cakes are not supposed to. Have you been to a church bake off? Listen, at least you can eat this cake, okay? I like the cake I made. You are a diabetic. And? And it was full of sugar. You remember to take your pills? I don't think I did. I don't think you did either. No. <laughs> Go on. Hello? Oh, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. What's that? Less work. I gotta go in early today. Today? Yeah. This is my birthday. All righty. Come on, work it over. Come on. Come on. Anderson, you going to your meeting? Oh, yeah. On my way. Okay. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> you have two cakes back there. Excellent. And you like the food? Yeah, this is good, Mom. Well, there you go. There you go. Hey, uh, okay. I have to go. I don't know how you do it. Being part of the brutal mass incarceration system. Imagine how much more brutal it would be if I wasn't working in it. I know I couldn't do it. Don't eat off his plate. It's Mama, I don't have a plate. Do you, do you, I'll make you a plate. Do you want a plate? Mom, she's getting ready to go. Love you, sis. Love you, too. Love you, Junior. Bye. Bye. We'll save you some cake. Okay. Save me a piece of both. You gonna win that karaoke contest? Ow, 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 ow. Bubble bee, bubble bee, bubble bee. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so la ti. Stevens. Oh, uh, you wanted to see me, Morden? Come here, sit down. Stevens, how would you like the opportunity to prove yourself? Sir? Listen, Stevens. First thing tomorrow, I need you to escort a prisoner on a deathbed visit downstate. I appreciate it, sir, but I don't think that I can get away on such short notice. I'm sorry. I recall you saying you were trying to get a full-time position here. Yeah, I did. Well, let's use this as an opportunity to prove it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. 
Yes! Excellent! Stevens, I knew you'd come through for me first thing tomorrow. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. wants to see you. Why? What's going on? How the heck do I know? You can ask him yourself. Get up. Uh, Anderson, there's no oh, easy way to say this, but your mother is dying. Oh, man. That's too bad. Well, she only has a short time left, and she requested to see you. Well, I don't know why I'm kind of stuck here. Well, we sometimes grant emergency furlough in situations like this. Oh, you mean like a deathbed visit? More like a supervised 36-hour release. 36 hours? Nicole, what are you doing? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be at work? I got a special detail. I have to escort a prisoner downstate. I will be gone for 36 hours. I'm gonna be here by myself for 36 hours? I already laid out all your medication. You know I have things I have to do at the library. Okay, well maybe you can ask Brandy to take you. Brandy's not gonna, she's a terrible driver. I don't understand. Mom, the warden said that if I do a good job, he might get me a permanent position, which I have been trying to get without any luck. You're going with somebody dangerous. You putting yourself in danger. I mean, technically, she is a prisoner, Mama, but no. And besides, she's going to be all chained up. Well, what are you doing, exactly? I am taking her on a deathbed visit. A deathbed visit? Mm -hmm. To see her mother. Oh. Her mama's dying. Mm-hmm. And you're taking her down. Mm-hmm. 36 hours. Mm-hmm. What if I die? I could. I don't want to scare you, but... <laughs> Mama... Please be careful. I will. Go back to sleep, Mama. <laughs> Stay up and write your will. I'm not feeding that damn fish. You better feed that fish. Stevens? Ah. Uh, oh, God. It's heavy. What is she in for again? Arm um, robbery. Right. <clears throat> the judge sentenced her to a mandatory eight. She's getting off early, good time served. God, she's got a lot of priors. Look, don't you worry about that, just do your job. She's in the program, she's clean. Yeah, yeah, she seems it. There you go. Do I get a weapon, sir? Oh, yes, you do. Sir, the revolver. Get that. Oh, taser, wow. Some of this. Oh. Pepper spray. I have got that. Good for you. Is that all? What, you want a tank, Stevens? It's not a zombie apocalypse. Right. Uh, any advice? Oh, yes. Don't turn your back on the prisoner. Don't let the prisoner out of your sight. And whatever she says, don't believe it. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're gonna do fine, Stevens. Yeah. Turn around. I am CO Stevens and I will be your emergency for low escort. Give me your hands. You are in my custody and you will follow my orders without question. All right? Whatever you say, Officer Stevens. To the bench. No, no, don't sit on the bench. Just turn around, and face the wall. All right, 
I have the authority at my discretion to terminate this leave at any time. Is that clear, Anderson? Very clear, CEO Stevens. For the next 36 hours, I own you. Let me see your eyes so I know you understand. I just want to go see my mother. Hmm? Anything you say goes. Good. Can we go now? No, you don't tell me when to go. I tell you when to go. That's the orders thing. You follow them. I have to give them first, okay? Okay, let's go. Don't be worried. There's nothing to be worried Come about. On. No funny business. Not for me. Good. Well, no, no. What's what's going on here? I, I, I really don't want any trouble on my bus. Well, there's not going to be any. Um, there you go. I see handcuffs, leg shackles, prison uniform. Kind of smells like yeah. trouble to me. I'm a corrections officer, and she's in my custody. Look, uh, Nicole Stevens. I'm the captain of this ship. Okay. I'm the captain. That means my only priority is the safety of my passengers and of myself. Okay, Captain, but there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid of nothing. I just don't like the looks of your passengers. Oh, come on. Don't no. judge a book by its cover, mister. What? I'm not, okay. It's not... okay, that's it. You're not boarding. Well, it's the law. You have to let us board. Law? On this ship, I'm the law. We are on official New York State business, sir. We are on a deathbed visit here. Time is of the essence. Who's dying? My mother. Well, your mother. Where does she live? Because I could go pick her up and bring her back to you. Listen, this is no time for jokes. This is serious business. I have no desire to cause trouble. I, I, I just want to go see my mother. Look, mister, you got a mother, right? Yes, I have a mother. So I got a mother, too. She's asked to see me. You going to stop me from seeing her? Please, mister, please let me on your bus. <sighs> Ray, listen. You stay on your best behavior. Keep her locked up the entire time. I mean, that's Thank part you. of the thing. Get on the bus. Okay. Thank you so much. So good of you. So, so good of you. Get on the very bus. Very thoughtful. You don't. Know, okay. All right. I think I can get up that step. Like, maybe push it. That's it. Okay. Got it. Hey, Christ. Okay. Next time I'll send the talking, okay? Sure, you got it. Good, thanks. You did a good job. Yeah, okay. Why do we have to take this shitty bus? It's a limousine wasn't available. Yeah. Why you want to sit, huh? Where are you? Yeah. This one's good. All right. This yeah, one, all right? Fine. Uh, oh, hot damn. <laughs> oh, okay. First time on this. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> Welcome aboard, passengers. A few uh, quick announcements and safety procedures. This is a no-smoking ride. Turn your cell phones off. Uh, please don't move around the cabin. Don't bother me and the driver. I don't want me to be distracted. Just general manners are appreciated. Thank you.
calls on the fuss, man. Hello, Nicole. Hey, I'm working. You okay? Honey, where are the multi-grain waffles? The frozen ones? Yeah. Yeah, in the freezer. Where else, Mom? No, they're not in the freezer. I'm looking. I, I don't see them. You sure they're in the yellow box? Remember they switched the box colors? It's yellow now. I remember that. I remember that. They're not in here. No, 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 no. There were some right when I left. Well, they're not in here now, Nicole. Now, I've, I need them to keep regular. Well, what about the brand cereal? You can try that. I don't like brand cereal. Where are the waffles? Well, why don't you have Brandy go and pick you up some then? Brandy is not here. Listen, I had a whole plan. I was going to get the waffles, I was going to make them, I was going to put syrup on them, have some butter, and just have a pleasant day. Okay, I understand, but I am working here. I gotta go, Moms. Love you, okay? Bye. <laughs> Who's paying for this trip? My understanding is that the inmate pays for it, so you. <laughs> That's a great rule. I don't know how I'm going to do that at 22 cents an hour. Well, your mom must really want to see you. You are running off and dumping moms in my lap without even saying a word. Okay. Well, I had an emergency come up at work, so I didn't really have a choice. And you didn't even have the courtesy to pick up the telephone and give me a goddamn call. I didn't want to wake you up. When are you coming back? Sunday night. Sunday night? Yeah. So who's going to take her to her volunteer thing at the library? I guess you will just have to take her. You know what, Nicole? Don't you dare ever try to pull a stunt on me like this again, you hear me? Okay. Ever! Bye, Brandy. Who's Brandy? She's my sister. You got sisters? Nah, I'm an only child. You're lucky. <laughs> I wish I had a sister. You kidding me? No, 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 I gotta go. Like, number one or number two? I'm just asking, how urgent is it? I gotta go. I can't wait. Why didn't you go before we left? I did. They serve mystery meat for breakfast and comes out when it wants to. Can I please just... Okay. permission to go to the bathroom, yeah, please? Yeah, okay. Well, I gotta take you, so come on. Jesus. Okay, all right, here I come. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're not going to regret this. Yeah. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Sorry. Coming through. You gotta undo the cuffs. What? I gotta get the jumpsuit down. Just undo one of them. No, he'll kick us off. I am pretty talking it. You know what? Ain't it? You know, we're in the pretty dog success. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Where are we going? We're going back to the seat. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Right. Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. Captain, we have a situation. What? What is it? My prisoner is having an emergency of the number two variety. She needs to relieve herself. Are you serious? Uh, number two. Bad. Is there a way that I can release her restraints so that she can get her jumpsuit down? Just one of them. No way you're unlocking her. No way. 
your choice. In a minute, you're gonna have a real stinky mess on your hands, okay? So balls in your court. Please, 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 please. She's gotta go. Uh, attention passengers, uh, we're gonna have to make a very quick unscheduled rest stop. You're gonna have exactly 10 minutes to do your business. If you don't make it, uh, talk to you shit. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. She's a prairie dog game. They call it, they call it a turtle head where I come from. Soldier boy, you need any action lately? Well, I'm always looking for action. But how do you like your little tied up right now? I'm free in six months. Six mm -hmm. months? That's a date. <laughs> you see that? I still got it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Six months. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Oh. And I hope one day, when you find yourself in trouble, you find someone to be as kind to you as you've been to me. Okay. Anderson! Best to your mother. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It feels good to be out in the street, you know? Well, the train's coming in 10 minutes. Don't get used to it. There's track trouble, so your train's gonna be delayed two hours. Okay, thank you. Well, that's too bad. Listen, anything happens to either one of us, I'll meet you right back here. <laughs> Funny. Are you, really, are you hungry? I got some time. Yeah, I haven't eaten since yesterday. And no place nearby? All right, man, yeah, right. right. on. Damn it, these hurt. What? Ow. Please, I need you to stay closer, okay? I'm right here. I'm right here, Wait, beside Give me a minute, right, please. Huh? Give me a minute. I just think that we're. I don't know. Hey! hey. Ah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, the good. What happened? I'm trying to run off from my lady's bag. Oh. Yeah. All right, thank you. Don't you worry. All right, just stay closer. Train okay? station's right down here, darling. Good thing on here. I, ow! You okay? Yeah. No, I'm good. It's just. Ow! God damn it! Ah! Oh, I'm just. All right. Skin on Come on. Really? Yeah, but you better not make me regret this, okay? I'm not gonna make you regret anything. We're gonna have a great time. You got that one? Oh, oh, right. Okay. Oh, 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 Hey, thank you. <laughs> oh. So? Mm. Steven, what do you think? Mm. Huh? It's kind of messy, Anderson. I know. You call me John, huh? Well, how's it taste? Not bad, Anderson. I'm good, can you? I'd rather not. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. I'm dripping down my sleeves here. You just maybe help me do some one. I've had six months. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. All right. 
so sweet. Thank mm. you. Wow, oh, fantastic. Oh, there we are. That's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on, give me the other one. Really? Yeah. Too good to me. Oh. Anywhere. All right, I get to see my mom, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Yeah. Go right back on, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> now I can eat like a lady. gonna freak when she sees this crap. <laughs> no. You look good. <laughs> she don't know my mother. She's the reason I ended up like this. Sorry ass loser inmate. On my way to see her on her deathbed with my CO. <laughs> you think this is the way I wanted my life to turn out? No. Probably not. But can't really blame your mom, can you? Oh, yes, I can. She's a ball buster. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm working now, okay? I can't talk. I'll call you later. My mother was so out of it. She had me stuck in a loony bin. But you were a drug addict, no? Yeah, that's probably what made a drug addict out of me. You know, my mom actually used to work in a mental hospital. I know those places can be rough. But I'm sure she thought she was doing it for your own good. It's open now. You know? You learn a lot about dysfunction, codependency. Mm. You, know, you gotta you gotta stand up for yourself. It's, it's important. Yeah. Yeah, give me a break. Mom, I am working. What do you want? Your sister is out of her mind. Ma, she won't help me. I can't find anything. I don't know where anything is. And she's just, she's working me. Pull yourself together, okay? I need you to lay down and calm down, all right? God damn it. I will be home when I am home. Ma! What'd she say? She said, give her regards to the sweetest and best sister she's ever had. Sure. You gotta eat. Nicely executed, officer. Here's to. Yeah. Ah, feels good, right? <laughs> yeah. Not the last impression I want my mother to have of me. Hey, Ray, come on. No. You don't tell me when to go, I tell you when to go. And we got plenty of time. We don't have to go. Oh, we do? Yeah. Uh, hey, what do you say we go get a super quick shampoo and blowout, huh? <laughs> no, we don't have that much time. Yeah, but it's just around the corner. Twelve bucks, can't beat that. It's a hairdressing school, and, and I used to go there all the time before I got locked up. Fine, but it's not on the schedule, so no. Well, the train's not on schedule either, man. We got time. Let's go do it. This is going to kill my mother. <laughs> Please. Anderson, the answer is no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're making me nervous, Becky. You, you want a cup of squat? Only because my feet hurt. <laughs> you married? Officer? Uh, I'd rather not say. Thank you. Oh, you are so not, I can tell. 
You got a boyfriend? Not now. Come on, why not? Look at you. I am... Um, I'm busy. I work a lot, I take care of my mom, I don't really have a lot of time to go out and meet people. Too busy for Nucky. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe you still live with your mother. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, well, she raised me and my sister on her own. And, uh, we're all she has left. So... So, your sister helps out, huh? I wouldn't exactly put it like that. She, uh, she helps herself out. You know, one thing I learned in this world, you gotta help yourself, because no one else will. I think the problem is too many people think like that. You have gorgeous hair. Oh, you girls did a fantastic job. I don't have time to go to the bathroom. Where's your bathroom? Over there. All right. Save us some balls of the right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just save you the trouble later. Yeah. That's all, all right. I'm talking about. I wonder, you know, what happened. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. You first. Mm-hmm, of course. All right. Make it quick. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Let's go catch our train. Great job, Okay, wait. Not so fast, please. All right. Uh, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, where well, am I going to go? Come hey, on, this is okay, too much Okay, I need fun. you to... I, 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 you're going to be out of the I'm restraints. Right here. I need you to restrain yourself right. and just stay a little... Restraining myself. Thank you. Absolutely. Shit. It's all good. Don't worry. We don't have far to go, but we better hurry. Hold on, please. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, your mom again? Shut up. Whatever. No, oh, the train is delayed another hour. Oh we even gonna make it to my mom before she's dead? Huh? Oh, maybe if I can find us another way. <laughs> One train out there, that's all there is. You know, um, I'm beginning to feel a little anxious about all this. A lot of excitement for me today. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Good, you know, thank you, baby. Oh, God. But, uh, I think there's a meeting right up here. I could pop right in. Oh, they helped me. No, <laughs> calm me right down. You ever been to a meeting? No, I haven't. Oh, no, you should try it. Ten minutes in a church. It's a beautiful thing. All kind of a blur. I met a guy online. I think we met for brunch. I uh, drank three bottles of rosé. Uh, but then later on at spinning class, I blacked out. Thank you so much. I feel better already. Yeah, okay. I just think I hit my neighbor's bike. And then also, I guess rock bottom so uh, I know it's only been since yesterday I think but taking it one day at a time is really helping me so thanks thanks, thanks for sharing Karen. Thanks. remember we're all vulnerable to our feelings and our desires the question do our emotions drive us or do we drive our emotions Morden, yes. Uh, uh, excuse me. One second. You can't do that in here. We need an atmosphere of recovery. Please. Of course. Yep. 
Uh, no. Uh, we're just at the train station. Sorry. It's a little noisy. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no, everything is going great. Yes, thank you so much. Uh-huh. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Hi, Moms. Would you like to share, young lady? I did me no, I uh gotta go with my CO. <laughs> I gotta go, Moms. And despite these noble intentions, I was ruining my life. I violated the veterinarian's oath. I was taking advantage of all those female pet owners who were distraught over their sick and injured puppies and kitty cats. I lost my family and most of my friends because they were basically afraid that I would offer rescue and shelter to their wives and, and girlfriends and, and, and sometimes their, their mothers. Um, excuse me, miss, but we have a strict rule. There's no sitting together. If you could just sit one sit over. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. When you're ready. Yeah. Thanks. And I was suspended from the Board of Animal Medicine. But now you are sexually sober. Is that right? How long has that been? Um, three months. <laughs> and have you been able to abstain from masturbation? Well, that's not easy. We all know that our hands can be our worst enemy sometimes, right? Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, keep it up. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, good work. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Um, Kevin said that it's not easy, and that is so true because we have to remember that our habit makes true intimacy impossible. Lust kills love. Would anybody else like to come up and share? Oh, I forgot how good this feels. Oh, me too. It's been three very long months. Three months? Yeah, three months. Baby, it's been years since I've been with somebody. Really? Yes. Oh my God, you must be famished. I'm starving. Oh. Yeah. I am so ready. You think you can handle me? Oh, oh this is gonna be so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, why don't you come to my place? Huh? Come cross down to my place, to my shelter. Come to my shelter. To your place? Yeah, you wanna come? Oh, yeah. You wanna come? Oh, yeah. And I'll see what my uh, friend is up to, huh? There you are. Huh? I'm looking for you everywhere. We got a train to catch. Yeah, I had to take a call. The uh, train station is like two minutes from here. You feel so. better now? I am so much better. Thank you so much. Good. Mm. What? Mm. What? Yeah, if you do what I say, yeah. Wait, um, oh my gosh, she's swallowing her tongue. And she has a very big tongue. Go. Okay, well, her legs, yeah. Tie and spread them. There's a pharmacy across the street. Okay, go and get her this medicine. No, I can't right go. You gotta go. No, you gotta go. I stay with her. I'm, I'm a doctor. Go. Okay. Go, officer. Okay, go. Yeah, listen. Make sure she doesn't go anywhere. Right? No, no, no. She couldn't even if she wanted to. Go. Please go. Alright, be our I just fine. I am gonna be fine. Hi, this is for an emergency. I need you to hurry, come on. 
this some kind of joke? Joke? No. What? It's from the veterinarian. It's warm medicine for a dog. A dog? Mm-hmm. You are aware, but you have an escapee with you, so you call me back as soon as you can. Okay? Oh, God. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Rivera. Good evening, Dennis. Glad to see you're back to your old self. I just, I, I don't know. Who are you? Miss, I'm Michael Levis. I'm the building manager here. Okay. This door you keep beating on, it's empty. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Doc moved out a few months ago. Damn. Do you know where to? I have no clue. I will tell you, though, you're not the first woman to come beating on that door. He must be a hell of a veterinarian, huh? You know, I'm, you know, I'm being nosy. Just do me a favor. You can stand in front of that doorway as low as you can. Maybe he'll come out. I doubt it. But just don't bang on my door, Yeah, all right. All right, all right. I thank got you. It. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yep. God, that looks easier in movies. Okay, Kevin, we better. You better be where I will find you where you live. No. Not now, Mom. Oh, no. Not now. Come on. Hey. Hey, sir? I'd get so lucky as to play footsie. The sexaholic veterinarian. <laughs> it's not the only thing I play. Oh no? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mr. Evans? Yeah, uh, come in. Hey, uh, can I help you, Miss? Stevens. Stevens, Nicole Stevens. Uh, my uh, phone died. I was wondering if maybe I could charge it in here. Oof. I was literally about to walk out the door. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of urgent. You a cop? I'm a corrections officer. Fair enough. It's my civic duty to assist you, Officer Stevens. Nicole's fine. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, I'll let us right over there. Thank you so, so much. Who are you here on the case? I'm tracking a prisoner. Oh. That I lost. You lost a prisoner? 
It's a long story. I'd rather not talk about it now. Thanks. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Thank you. There you go. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so what do you think your prisoner is right this moment? God, I don't know. Yeah, she's off having a little party. All right, with the old super vet. Yeah. Yeah, he parties a certain type of way. Oh, God, please. I don't want to know. Yeah. You got a tough job ahead of you, Nicole? Yeah. I'm afraid I'm not going to have a job after this. No. Don't say that. You're good at what you do. I can tell. Mm. Fair enough. You're not the best at what you do. But look good in that corrections uniform. You look like a badass. What you should do is think like a criminal. You need to get into the mind of the criminal. It will lead you to your criminal. Develop a perp's perspective. A perspective, exactly. You think you could do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? That office upstairs, can you unlock it? You think I'm like a criminal? Come on, let's go. Thank you. <sighs> right, both lose our jobs. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's make this one fast. I want to get you in here quick. Shh. Go ahead. Can I help? Oh, we we'll try not to. You. Okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to keep my. I'm sorry. Bingo. I told she was a badass. Look at this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh. Can I see you again? Okay. I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like you. You. I would yes. Love sure. Great. Yes. I would love it. I mean, under different circumstances, it would be great. Okay. But I know you live upstate. Right? I do. I live with my self upstate. Okay. Right. So, but I, I, I come to the city, you know, often. So. Look. Oh. This is my card. Oh yeah. Got my number on there. You I'll know. call you now. So right. That you so have then I have. Number. Yeah. Then we can call okay. each other. You can. Right. Call me if you want to. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, who this? Is, is this building uh, manager Michael Levin? Is this Officer Stevens? No, this is Nicole. You sound great over the phone. You do. You sound. You got a nice voice. <laughs> you sound. You sound really good. Okay. Uh. Well, look. I, I got your number. I'm, I'm gonna hang up. Now. Okay. All right. Well, we should we should do this some other time. We should get together. All right. Yeah. Thank you for the electricity. Of course. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'll... But thank you. I'll... All right. I'll talk soon. Absolutely. Cool. You got my number. I. You have mine. Too, All right. So. Okay. Time, oh, you bet. Best time ever. Anderson. Miss Stevens, where have you been? Huh? I'm taking you on stake. 
And you're going to be there for a long time, so I really hope that your little trip to the vet was worth it. And what was worth it? <sighs> well, oh, sister, you don't know. Yeah, good. I hope he defleed you. Go. Bye, Dennis. Goodbye, Dennis. If we hurry, we can catch up. No, train. you are certifiable if you think I am getting on a train with you right now. I, I, I mean, I am getting on a train, but you are going back upstate where you belong. You are in big trouble. Oh, we gotta go out to the aisle. We gotta see my mother. What are you? <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yeah. What about you? What about me? What happens? You want to make Warden Warden look bad, for God's sake? No, I tell you what we do. I tell you what we do, all right? Here I am. I'm in your custody. We go out, say goodbye to Mom. Get me back in time for Sunday lockup. And now, it looks like you know what you're doing for once. No, just, just shh. Well, well, just shh. shut your mouth I and stop talking, shut. okay? I don't want to hear you speak. Really? It sounds like you're talking. That's funny. I don't want to hear sounds coming out of your mouth. Take it, please. Would you mind taking your leg off of my belongings, please? Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up. Sweet home. Just give me a second, all right? You're ringing in five, four, three, two, one, or I do. Haven't you had a good time today? I've had a great Four. Three. Mm -hmm. no. Guarantee you that's about to happen. You look good. Thanks. Get in here, June. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh God. Let me look at you. That is Nicole or Paula. It's Officer Stevens, if you don't mind. No, no Officer right. Stevens, sorry. Oh. It's so good to see you. You'll excuse me. Give me the right. What is she doing? Yeah, she's just doing her job. Doing All right, down. Other one. Yep. Don't, don't watch it. Do you have to do this in here? If you knew what it took to get us here, ma'am, you'd be shackling her yourself. So, yep, yep, I do. All right, come on. Thank you for the lovely holiday. <laughs> oh my God, you're still with us. Hello. It's Joan, your daughter. Joan? Ah, I'm glad you came. You are? Yes, I'm glad you came. <laughs> oh, hello, Mother. 
I need you to sign some papers. <coughs> sign what papers? Give you some money. Oh, you don't need my signature to put me back in your will. Not the will. It's... It's an agreement. What kind of an uh, agreement? For you to live your life any way that pleases you. Oh, mother. <laughs> oh. What's the catch? I want you to stay away from my granddaughter. You mean my daughter? I can't do that. But I'm clean and sober now. I get out in six months. I'm gonna find her. I am gonna make that right. She is nothing like you. She's a lovely, sweet young woman. I don't want you to disrupt her life. <coughs> I don't doubt she's lovely. I would like to meet her someday, all right? You must never, ever see her. Promise me. You are a cold bitch. You'll get $100,000 a year in monthly payments. But as a state executor, I will stop the checks. The minute I find out you've breached your contract and make contact with her. Joe. You're a 50-something-year-old convict. You have no skills. Take the money. What does she actually know about me? Nothing. The adoption papers say that you died in childbirth. Is that really necessary? Let's go. What's her name? Do you know my daughter's name? Lily Benson. Anderson, you okay? You wanted to keep the baby? I don't know what I wanted. No one ever gave me any choice. Now, all these years later, she wants to pay me off to not see my kid. I got a daughter out there. She thinks I'm dead. It's not right. No, it isn't. Car's ready now. Thanks. No, wait. Your license and your credit card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Thanks. Had a car trouble this morning, and I was wondering if I could trouble you for a lift. Mm, insurance issues. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, insurance. That's a bitch. Yeah. I um, look. I, I I don't usually do this sort of thing, but uh, it's been a totally hectic morning, and um, if you would kindly see your way to giving me a ride. Be willing to give you a blowjob. Mm. Hop on board. Fantastic, awesome. Oh, yeah! I can't believe you. Yeah! You are going away for a long time. Uh, Put him behind your back. I can have that little ride another time, huh? That's it up. All right, right up. up. Whoa. Come on. Everything cool? Yeah, everything's cool. You know I'm going to report you for this, right? <laughs> it's going to mean years. What were you thinking? You think I was thinking? Assholes don't think. Nope. They don't, and you are an asshole, all right. You had six months left, and now you're going away for a long time. <laughs> asshole. You know what? You are the most exhausting, self-destructive person I have ever met. You got that right. Oh, oh Jesus. Hi, Mommy. What do you want me to know where you're now, Mommy? Hello? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I was your mother's lawyer. She passed. You heard me? Loud and clear. Get me back to my cell. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm great. 
It's great. We're at the home of Lily Benson. Wait, what? You heard me. Nicole, wait a minute. Where are you going? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shh. I didn't ask you to bring me here. Yeah. Get out. What are you trying to pull? You have exactly 15 minutes, okay? And don't even think about thinking about doing anything. I want you to stand close to that door where I can see you from here. I don't, I, I can't You wanted to see your daughter, and Yeah, right? no, not now, not like this. Anderson, you're going away for a while, so I think now's the time. Go on. for Lily. I'm her. Can I help you? Um, I, I, I knew her mother. You know Norma? Uh, her birth mother? Her birth mother? Oh, God. You, you knew that... Yeah, my parents told me when I was 12. And did they tell you anything about your mother? Excuse me, but why did you come here? She would have wanted me to. Would you like to step inside? Yeah. Thanks. How did you know her? I, um, uh, we were best friends when uh, we were young. Why didn't you contact me before? Oh, I just, I just found out about you. Um, um her only child? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you married? Yeah, um, Brad's helping a friend with an audition. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Johnny, he 
he's seven. Hey, hon, come downstairs. <sighs> Do you work? I'm a graphic designer. I work from the house. It's, um, it's kind of slow. <laughs> Can I get you something to drink? Some coffee or juice or water? Water would be fantastic. Okay, have a seat. Hey. Ladies, watch it be color a truck. I he hope it's okay. Him. He loves his trucks. Yeah, I see that. How do you think my mother would feel about being a grandmother? Once she got over the shock, I'm... I know she'd dig it. If I could talk to my mother. I'd tell her that I didn't care what she did in the past. She'd be welcome to visit any time. I, I, I gotta get going. You could stay for dinner? Um, maybe another time. <laughs> yeah. straight to voicemail and I hear you rented a car that's not in the budget. Please tell me what is happening. All right, sir, there is a very good explanation. Oh, she got a very good explanation, she says. Please tell me your goddamn explanation. There was a problem this morning. What, with the prisoner? With the train. There was a three-hour delay and I didn't want to risk it, so I thought it best just to rent a car. As far as my phone, there were some issues with my provider, but I'm resolving them. Warden, Warden, if I might have permission to speak. Speak, Anderson. Uh, well, I would just like to say that in spite of all the unbelievable travel snafus we came upon, it was in fact Officer Stevens's single-minded determination that got me to my mother's bedside before she passed. And I know her gratitude was absolutely expressed to her very good friend, the governor. Oh, oh. all right. Stevens, you did good. I want you to come in and fill out some paperwork for a full-time position. I'm gonna put you on staff. Thank you so much, sir. All right, I gotta get down to the jackknife. It's a karaoke night. So ladies, good evening. Oh, sing well, sir. I always do. It's in there right in there. I know you are. Uh, thank you, and an apology. Yeah. You do. Several. <laughs> hey, I think it's best if we forget about this weekend. All right? Our little secret. You got it all, Mrs. Stevens. See you around, Joan. You don't 
know where my pills are. Ma. You know, every time I ask Nicole for my pills, she has put them in the strategic place for me to find them. Nicole, where is my book? Nicole, Nicole. Fuck. You got something to say to me, sis? I do. Where the hell have you been? Working my ass off. Where else, Brandy? I have a life. I have my own family. So how dare you run off and leave me holding a bag? Well, you don't think I'd like any of those things particularly in that order? I would, okay? But how am I supposed to get those things if all I do is work and take care of moms? <clears throat> Hi, Nicole. Hi, moms. Hello. Did you save me that piece of cake? I forgot. Oh, see? See? Okay. From now on, I'm gonna get my fair share. I will help out with moms with you, but not instead of you. Because what I will not do is I will not give up my life. I know you don't think that I have a life, but I do. And I will not give it up so that you can live yours. Okay? Mom, sit down. Okay. I will help out as best as I can, but I am a grown woman. I know. Which means I have to live my life for myself. Okay? Okay. Not just for you. Okay. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. This is non-negotiable. Okay. I got it. I can't believe she ate my cake. <laughs> That's so wrong. That's okay. Hello? I've got an all-points bulletin out on a super cute taser pack and badass. What, you happen to have a 20 on her current location? Is there a badass here? Ma. Ma. What? Why are you on my phone? Because it rang and you were talking. Wow. Why would you answer her phone? Because it was under my butt cheek. Uh, where's Nicole Stevens? Uh, yes. Is this, uh, building manager Michael Evans? I think I ate the cake. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, too. I like that phone feeling, though. <laughs> Well, the 20 on Nicole Stevens as she is currently walking into her bedroom and taking off her uniform in preparation for a nice hot bubble bath. So, you tell me, who's thinking like a criminal now? So, you ready for me to kick your ass and check this? You want to try candy? Yeah, no. Who's your hair? Yeah, like, not that cool. You want to go with your grandma? No. Uh, Let the judge read the rest. Can't stand. 